Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, for many years, studies have suggested that a high animal fat diet, with the exception of fish, has been linked to higher rates of colon cancer. Now, researchers have discovered mechanisms that explain how higher levels of animal fat ingestion increase colon cancer risk. As an example, high animal fat consumption increases the production of secondary sterols and creates alterations in the gut microflora that have been shown to promote colon cancer development. But what about the cholesterol that's found in high animal fat foods? Studies also suggest that a higher intake of cholesterol increases colon cancer risk. So the study published in the journal Cell Stem Cell in January 2018 was a groundbreaking study that showed the exact, the exact mechanism by which dietary cholesterol increases cancer development in the colon. As one of the researchers stated, while the connection between dietary cholesterol and colon cancer is well established, no one has previously explained the mechanism behind it. Now, using an animal model, the study showed that higher intakes of dietary cholesterol increase the concentration of cholesterol that accumulated in the outer skin or the cell membrane of cells that line the colon. In turn, the high levels of cholesterol in the outer skin of these intestinal cells acted like a triggering signal for the cells to divide at a faster and faster rate. Now, as the cells divided faster, they made more genetic mistakes that transformed normal cells into colon cancer cells. In fact, the tumor cell formation was more than a hundredfold under the influence of dietary cholesterol. The researchers explained it this way. As the animal's cholesterol levels rose, their cells divided more rapidly, causing the tissue lining in their guts to expand and their intestines to lengthen, and these changes significantly sped up the rate of tumor formation in their colons. Now, colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death after lung cancer in most developed countries. Our high fat diet intakes, our high animal fat diet intakes, beef and pork and deep fried foods and trans fats as well, as well as the intake of cholesterol itself, are strongly linked to the development of colon cancer. Studies like this one are now explaining the mechanisms through which these fats, as well as the ingestion of cholesterol itself, alter cell behavior in ways that converts normal healthy cells into colon cancer cells. So the take, home message, the take home message remains the same, and that is to consume a diet that is low in animal fat, trans fats, deep fried foods, and also in cholesterol. So I've included a link to, uh, to the research in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.